Astronaut Armstrong has a sequence camera on his chest now. He was brought down to him on the lunar equipment conveyor. This is something like a clothesline, just a normal clothesline that you use with a pulley system. And it was fed down to him. I'll step out and take some of my first pictures here. He has it on his chest. He'll walk out now and take his first pictures. Uh, Roger, Neil, we're reading you loud and clear. Let's see, getting some pictures and uh, the contingency sample. Thirty-five and a half minutes of PLSS time expended now. Stand in the moon simulator during their training period. Looking at Armstrong moving around there on the lunar surface, uh, he gives the picture of an Arctic explorer dressed in heavy clothing to protect him from the freezing cold with a backpack. Gingerly moving about now in the vicinity of the limb ladder, Buzz Aldrin still in the limb. He will not be moving out for a few minutes yet. Uh, Neil, this is Houston. Uh, do you copy about the contingency sample? Over. All right, you're going to get to that just as soon as I finish uh, these picture series. What he has been doing is he's turning around a full 360 degrees, taking a snapshot with his camera from all angles from where he's standing. In his description of the moon surface, Armstrong said it was firm but powdery. He could kick it up with the toe of his boot. It would adhere to the toe of his boot like fine charcoal dust. You can see his own footprints and the boot tread on the surface of the moon. He is now opening up his uh, suit pocket on his left leg. This is what he'll put the uh, continuously sample into. About two pounds of lunar material. He has uh, more or less a stick with a little bag on it. Okay, going to get the contingency sample there in here. Okay, that's good. This is number one on the list of scientific priorities, getting that first quick sampling of lunar soil, an event the mission has to be cut short, the men brought back early. The curvature of the lunar horizon is clearly visible about a mile and a half to the west of Eagle. Okay, the uh, contingency sample is uh, down and it's up sample. I think it's a little difficult to dig through the uh, initial crust. Very there. interesting. It's a very soft surface, but uh, here and there where I plug with the, uh, with the contingency sample collector, I run into uh, a very hard uh, surface, but it appears to be uh, uh, very cohesive uh, uh, material of the, of the same sort. I'll try to get a rock in here. Just a couple. Oh, that looks beautiful from here, Neil. It has a start beauty all its own. It's uh, like m much of the high desert of uh, the United States. It's uh, different, but it's very pretty out here. We advise that uh, a lot of the uh, rock samples out here, the hard rock samples, have what appear to be vesicles in the surface. Also, I'm looking at one now that appears to have some Port of Houston, Roger out. Uh, 
Okay, the handle is off the... Uh, This has been about uh, oh, six to eight inches into the surface. Like it's pretty easy to pop it. It is. It's, uh, I'm sure I could push it in farther, but uh, it's hard for me to bend down farther than that. Then now, you get, get, now you can throw so far. You can really throw things a long way up here. <laughs> Think how far you could drive a golf ball. Yes. <laughs> Think how far you could slice one. Right off the horizon. <laughs> My pocket open, but uh, yes, it is. It's not uh, up against your suit, though. Hit it back once more. Or more toward the inside. Okay, that's good. in the pocket? Uh, yeah, push down. Got it? No, it's not all the way in. Push it. There you go. Engine's example is in the pocket. I, uh, oxygen is 81%. I have no flags and I'm in minimum flow. This is Houston, Roger Nail. No flags, no no danger signals. This is uh, the preliminary checks he was required to make of all of his equipment for him to continue his uh, walk here right after getting the continuously sample. Okay, I got the camera going at one frame a second. Okay. I've got the uh, eight zero percent, no flags. Good. Are you getting a TV picture now, Houston? Neil, yes, we are getting a TV picture. Neil, uh, this is Houston. We're getting a picture. You're not in at the present time. We can see the bag on the LEC being moved by Buzz, though. Here you come into our field of view. Oh, so let me move that over the edge uh, for you. Okay, ready for me to come out? Yeah, just stand by a second. I'll move this over the handrail. It's sort of a wobbly yeah, he, he moves around though with great stability. There, there is nothing to indicate he's um, suffering a loss of balance or a disorientation at all. He can he just walked over and got the uh, bag, and uh, that's what you call a kangaroo hop. <laughs> no, he hasn't used no, he has a kangaroo, kangaroo, kangaroo hop yet. Okay. All right, that's got it. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, you saw what difficulties I was having. I'll try to watch your plus uh, from underneath here. Now he's going to do for Aldrin what Aldrin did for him when Al uh, Armstrong left the Eagle. He's going to give him guidance and direction, which way to move, where to put his feet. Make sure that his plus pack clears the hatch door, the hatchway. All right, the backup camera is... Uh Okay, your purse is, looks like it's clear and okay. The doors are about to come over the seal. Okay, now drop your purse down. There you go, you're clear. And laterally, you're good. Got an inch clearance on top of your purse. Okay, you need a little bit of uh, arching of the back to come down. How far are my feet from the Okay, edge? you're right at the edge of the porch. Okay. Back in from... A little uh, foot movement. Porch. Arching of the back. 
until it comes up and clears the uh, bulkhead without any trouble at all. Looks good. Forty-five minutes PLSS time expended. Neil, this is Houston. Based on your camera transfer with the LEC, do you foresee any difficulties in SRC transfer over? Difficulties in SRC. Negative. That's the sample return containers, the rock boxes that Capcom... I want to uh, back up and partially close the hand. 